got all these country names and city names. Okay, so let's use this data. I have to go to the data load editor. Okay. Here in the scripting, I need to have a small changes. So we have an Excel uh, data source. So I'm going to it's a binary data. flat file path so go to our path yeah spatial data mm -hmm. I can choose this natural longitude is also there okay. mm -hmm. So now let's load it and see whether it will be compatible to create a data or not. Create a map object or not? Yes. Okay. It will not be initially compatible. We need to have some scripting on this data source. So let's see. I've got this table, spatial table. Now I'll try to add this country. Why? It is not going to add it to this database. I mean, uh, map source. Because longitude latitude itself cannot be added directly. So what we have to do in the data model, I have to write a small script to generate a compatible data for this map data, map object. Okay. So what we will do? After this longitude and latitude, this comma, this key, geo map point. You see, there are a lot of other, uh, these are the, I mean, functions are there. Geo map point. Okay. I'll choose this latitude, comma, longitude. I have to pass this. And give alias as geo key. So this will be our key which will be used for a map object. Okay. Okay. So it's load data. Geo map point is a function which need two parameters that is a longitude and latitude to create a data type or to create a column whose data type is geometry. Even if this longitude and latitude are having the real longitude and latitude code, but the initially the data type of these fields are string. Okay. But when you just convert this to this function, it will in build convert the 
these two data types string type of data to data to a field called geometry data type okay that's the basic of a gis okay so i'm going to load it again now then go to the map source and you see geo key is there so i'll try to add this geo key to this map source and you see it is taking okay add as a point layer so i'm going to add this point layer Country point, this is the country. So, list of the countries are generated because the data type of country is got uh, joined with uh, other tables. And I'm going to show you here, even though we have created a see our spatial data is joined with this other table and the uh, and it is also not qualified so that's why the fields is simply showing us country okay and even if we will qualify this table country will not be qualified because we have unqualified the country on the above script in the binary table okay in the data model we have unqualified this just to join this other tables with this okay so we have got a very good number of data now we have got this country and country wise we have got all these other details okay mobile usage language mm -hmm. all these country wise uh, states cities and the codes transition codes so we have a very good number of data now now see this just special data is generated now it's time to have some more analysis on this so what type of decision we can make this uh, chart on this chart so i'll just bring this to here okay so i can see the simple points on the countries so what type of decision i can make i want to see the population by country so i want these dots has to be bigger and smaller based on the country names okay so i can simply add this uh, uh, those population right my population is not yeah population here so i can simply add this population to on this map and you will see the map data can be smaller and bigger based on the second measure based on the measure okay so okay. we have only dimension which is the country name which is pl simply plotting on the country names i'll add the measure add measure and sum of population so now you see based on the different countries the population is showing in increasing and decreasing figure so based on the circle size of the circle the population is can be determined
Now bubble size can also be customized based on this control. And we'll have some colorings also. So there's a map service you can see here I can only see open street map I can also have the satellite imagery over here uh, do you, I mean can you figure out what is a satellite imagery this is not exactly the satellite imagery it is an open street map this is a web service which has a map server probably like a Google map or any other uh, third party services they are providing the earth map here so I can also customize the background map which is coming here in this map object how do we do it we will see here uh, first of all let me add the colors color is auto is a single color I will just make by if I'll make the color by dimension so each country will have a different color you see though it is looking beautiful but for decision making it is not so useful okay I don't take the decision that which country has the extremely highest population so in that case I have to choose as measure so when I say measure the darker the color of the country or the darker the color of the mark will indicate that higher the size of the population this is good, right? Okay, now now I want to change the background map. Okay, so I have also the provision to change this background map. I want to take satellite imagery or any other third party map services. Even if your uh, own, uh, you know, uh, satellite imagery, you can provide here in the background. Okay. Some organizations are doing some uh, rem uh, custom remote sensing to uh, purchase their own latest satellite imagery. They can also project over this map. Okay. It is completely a GIS based platform. So, map service. You can enable make it custom it is saying cp map xyz so go to this url and attributions okay choose here you can see different you know services and their style of presentation of the maps okay this type of satellite imagery you can get There's a link you can copy it out here, but I'm looking for uh, some more uh, services. You should have a better representation. Okay, let's choose this one. Choose the service. I think they are not providing uh, this option. 
is it, what exactly the CP map is. Go to URL and put it here. And for attribution, okay, let's put it here and you can get another service. You got it? So these are all the free map services. So that's why this uh, uh, they are asking for API keys required. So if you just put the API key and you can just go and see this. So the way we generated the data, haphazardly they have taken many countries. Yeah. Otherwise, you can choose that CP map which is inbuilt uh, in um, ClickSense. It will automatically take the map. Even we can take the Google Map service. Open Street Map is not from the Google Map actually. You can see the population which is showing over here for Brazil, Tasmania, something, some country is showing the population over here. And for data, choose the population, label as population. Mutting could be a uh, number. And simple like this. Hmm. Half a zero uh, longitude and latitude they have taken. Anyways, no issue. Uh, so I can see the population over here and with the data. Hmm. 